That's correct, Nana. That's correct, Nana. That's courtesy. Minimum courtesy. Min Hey everyone, I'm the tall Asian girl, also known as Joanna Lai. My mom calls me Nana. I am Mama Lai, also known as Esther Lai. Today we are going to talk about Chinese culture, specifically the three things you must do when you go to a Chinese person's house. I know a lot of you might have Asian friends and if you're ever invited over to their parents' house, it's really important that you have the right etiquette. The number one thing that you must do when you visit a Chinese person's house is what, mom? You're a knowledge person, you always, you know, uh, honor them, to address them. And should you call them auntie or uncle, or do you say Mr. or Mrs.? Well, in you know, the Chinese, call everybody call everybody uncle or auntie. Number one thing, address them by auntie or uncle. Never, never call them. Full name. Like, never come to my mom's house and say, hey Esther, what's up? No, she's gonna put rat poison in your food if you do that. Do not call her Esther, say, auntie, auntie, what's up, right? Yeah, that's cool. Right? <laughs> so much better. What's the second thing you do when you visit a Chinese person's home? You should bring them a gift. Fruit is the most appropriate. That's true, especially melons. Chinese people love oranges, pomelo, grapefruit, or apples. Very important. I would say, without a doubt, if you bring a fruit, that's a winner. If you can't bring fruit, go to Chinatown and pick up some Chinese candy. That's really good. Or take your box of leftover macadamia nuts from your last Hawaii trip and bring them. Food is better than flowers, even. The number three thing you need to do when you go to a Chinese person's home is take off your shoes. Do not wear them in the house. If you visit someone's house and there's a bunch of shoes in the front of it, you know that person is Asian because Chinese people do not want to track in dirt. If there's a rug, do not wear your shoes on it. Okay, that's what you're saying. Nana. That's what you say? Don't you think it's true? Well, it all depends if you are in China. You know, we don't take off our shoes because we don't have shoes to wear. A long time ago, we just bare feet. So if you're wearing shoes, <laughs> take off your shoes when you enter the house. But if you're barefoot, you're good to go, right? If you say so, Nana, this is Chinese American culture. So the fourth thing you need to do when you go to a Chinese person's home. So inevitably, you will be served a meal because everything in Chinese culture revolves around food. If they don't serve you food, question if they actually are Chinese. But here's the fourth thing you need to do. When they serve a meal, you need to make sure that you serve other people before yourself. That's correct, Nana. That's correct, Nana. That's courtesy, minimum courtesy. Minimum courtesy. Do not pick up the food and serve yourself. Be sure to offer it to the oldest person at the table first. Be sure to serve others before you. That's correct, then you'll win the people's heart. Fifth thing you need to do at a Chinese person's home is after the meal is all done, what do you need to do, mom? You need to help uh, the with the clean up. Help clean up. Mm -hmm. Do not just sit there. You help clear the table. Anything you need to do, it's very important that you help clean up. And I guarantee you, if you do these five things, you will win over the hearts of the papas and the gongongs and the mamas. So if you are someone out there and you're not Asian, and you are like meeting an Asian girl's parents for the first time or an Asian guy's parents for the first time. Follow these five steps and you'll be good. If you do these, you'll be invited again. You'll be invited again and that is honor. And you know how important honor is to us. You've seen Mulan. You know, all about the dynasty and the Han dynasty. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay, so that closes up this series of Chinese culture episodes. Please comment on this video or subscribe to our channel. And if you have any ideas on other things you need to do when you go to a Chinese person's house, let us know. All right, we're signing off now. Bye. Bye.